Very good afternoon to all of you. I am Pankaj Agarwal and uh, as ma'am indicated, I am flying from South Korea just to be at the conference. So it's such a pleasure to see you all. And I met Nupu ma'am at Didac uh, around two weeks ago. And she told me that I have to be here to show to the Goenka family what we do with education. So I tried to wrap this idea of ours into this presentation. And the idea is to design 21st century classrooms in the AI era. How do we do that? But before talking about the solution, I thought I'll take spend some time to talk about the problem statement. Next, please. Uh, my background briefly, I did my diploma in 2004. Did my master's in South Korea, a very unconventional route I took. Because I love technology, uh, I went to South Korea, worked in Samsung. I contributed to Samsung's flat panel displays. I was circuit engineer, went for my MBA to Harvard. Uh, and uh, after that, worked in Samsung as a manager in innovation. I'm an inventor on Samsung's Galaxy Ring that came out recently. Um, and in 2018, I started my company, uh, Tag Hive, to build Class Sati, which is to transform classrooms. I have two kids, and I wanted to build something for them, actually. That's how it started. Uh, next, please. So, my question to all of you, uh, how many of you feel that today's classroom meets the needs of all students and teachers? On a scale of 1 to 10, perhaps you will raise one hand maybe up to five marks, right? But that means that there's a room for improvement. And uh, I see certain challenges. Uh, the first challenge is the rising student anxiety. How many of you agree to this problem? All of us, right? I have two kids, I realize that. I mean, and studies suggest that if students are stressed, they will not participate. Next, please. So if I do this, it's the next, okay? Uh, there's a one size fits none teaching approach. We are trying to do this, it's not working. Okay? And there's a lost joy in learning. I always feel that education is a privilege. Learning is an opportunity. And it has to be a joyful experience. But today we are finding the lost joy is completely lost because of exams, pressures, what have you. So these are the challenges that we face in classrooms. And to solve this, I mean, this challenge is manifest in the in this uh, curve that you see, in the first five to 10 minutes, the student's attention just crashes, which means that the learning is suffering. It's such a huge loss of opportunity. Next, please. Next, please. So we thought, we'll take a step back. I'm an engineer, so always ask questions, you know, why? Or ask some uh, uh, poor reasons, the root cause. And we thought we could perhaps solve these problems with these five design elements, which is foundation, action, killing, result, and inspiration. I think this animation, we can go next, next, next. Let's do the slides. We'll try to reduce anxiety. We need to design something that boosts engagement, design something that personalizes learning, that enables track of progress, and most importantly, brings back joy in classrooms. So if we have a solution that does these things, that has these design elements, do you think we'll be able to solve the problem? Perhaps yes, right? Of course, we need a lot of iterations. But definitely these are the ingredients for making a, a, success, a classroom perhaps less anxious and more joyful. The question is how? And that is where we come in. Since the last eight years, we've been working relentlessly on a product called Class Safi, which has evolved over time. And that solution has four components, which has the world first Bluetooth clickers. Let's the teacher talk something in the class, they can ask a quick formative question right then and there. And students get a device like this, a clicker device, which is a world first Bluetooth clicker, a conceived in South Korea. And as a, as a circuit engineer, I built this. And also we have a quiz bank, a million plus questions across different topics from grade one to grade 10 on all subjects. We have a software that runs even without the internet in classrooms. I think a lot of schools have this problem, perhaps a challenge that they, they face this with solutions that, you know, internet is required. We don't need internet to run class up. And also, we have built our own Sati AI, which powers our AI features called Sati Genie and Tutor. We'll play a brief video from a school that actually made this video to promote uh, more admissions. And they were able to enhance the admissions in schools as told by NAM to us. Smart classroom solution that brings real-time engagement and instant feedback into every lesson. With just a click, a child can interact, respond, and participate, making learning not just fun, 
but also incredibly effective. This innovative system uses the world's first input-based clicker technology that requires no internet, no electricity, making it accessible to all the classrooms. It's a game changer for education. Our teachers gain deep insight into each student's learning journey. They can instantly identify the strengths and the areas for improvement, allowing for tailored instruction that meets the need of every unique child. Teachers also have a powerful ally, Saki Jini, an AI assistant that helps to create phases, track progress, and manage classroom dynamics. For students, we have Saki Tutor, a 24-7 companion, guiding them through difficult concepts, helping in homework, and preparing for exams. Parents too are a part of this journey with access to performance data and insight. They remain involved and actively engaged with students learning, bridging the gap between home and school. Thank you so much. So we have a solution that really encompasses all four dimensions. A teacher is able to save time now in assessments to save around five to six hours in a month. Uh, in having not to prepare now questions or correct the assessment papers. Students also are able to build confidence. Next please. Yeah. Parents are also able to stay informed and school leaders such as yourself now can take decisions based on data. Earlier this, earlier this morning when I got a chance to meet Haru sir, I had a question. I asked him, sir, what is that one leadership habit that we should for, forget? or change or give up in this fast moving era. He said, taking decisions without listening. So I think we have to listen to the data, see the data and then take decisions. And that is what we are enabling with this uh, speaker method of teaching. Imagine you have data from the classrooms every day, every class, and now you are able to really understand where students are going wrong. If the students are not performing well, that means teachers need support. We can provide more curated teacher support programs and based on the topics where they need help. Next please. So we have found that because of class study, uh, even the back are participating, <coughs> teachers are now becoming, they are changing their role from being a stage on the stage to being a guide on the side. And hence, what is happening with the curve, the, the attention curve goes back to high levels. Not only that, we found that uh, the students were not so great, were scoring 20 out of 100 or 30 out of 100. They certainly scored 60, 40 marks. Students who are great, they are doing anywhere better with this technology, but students who are struggling, they also perform tremendously well, which results into their increased confidence. And that is why we become so relevant, because we are touching everyone's lives with our technology. So, coming back to that design principle, and then I'll wrap it up very quickly. We are able to reduce anxiety in classrooms because students can now participate easily. And this can be anonymous as well. You don't have to have a student uh, being told that hey, you press the wrong answer. It can be anonymous. We can also use this to boost engagement. We have found that in this solution, every child in the classroom is engaged now. In fact, they want to come to school because they want to participate in quizzes. And we can personalize learning. In fact, because we have data now about each child's performance, we are able to see who needs help. When students go home, we have a dedicated virtual tutor that they can use. And this tutor, unlike GPT or anybody else, knows what has happened in the school. So if I go to the tutor and ask for support, it will tell me, hey, in the classroom today, you are not good in these topics, hence you need to study these, these things. Which nobody else can do, because we can do, because we have data, and we have a uh, design solution around that. Next, please. We are able to track progress on a regular basis. And lastly, we are able to bring back the joy in the classroom. So thank you so much. Next please. We three more slides. We are 15,000 classrooms globally. We are based in South Korea. We have an office in India. In India, we are around 13,000 uh, 13, classrooms. Korea, 1,500 classrooms. Malaysia, Vietnam, South Africa. Very recent closer to Thailand. What it means is a global product already vetted by all these schools. And uh, in India, we have in Delhi, we have Asun Valley School, which is in our product. Uh, we have Maxford. In Indore, we have Enderal Hex International. In Assam, in Assam, we have Assam Valley School. We, in UP, we have, have Sunday group of schools. In BCM, we have, in Punjab, we have BCM group of schools. We see a bunch of countries that are here. 
expanding globally as well. And we would love to also partner with Goenka Schools. <coughs> Next please. Uh, almost there. And uh, I also wanted to highlight that we have been vetted by MIT in the US. We received a solar status in, uh, in May this year. We also got featured at, uh, by Harvard Business School in the case study. Uh, we also are on the learning cabinet by doing that. And recently we got selected by 100 Global. What these means, what these definitions mean is that these companies, which are global institutions, they have vetted us through their rigorous process. Well, this, does this work? Does this add value? Are people using it? What are customers saying? What are users saying? They have done that heavy lifting for you. In case, you know, because when you want to technology in the schools, you're always worried whether this will work, how long will this last? Do so you have that uh, seal of proof that you can depend on before you, you know, onboard us? Next, please. So that was class study. We believe that with class study, we can transform classrooms from boring <coughs> to scoring. Thank you so much. Our team is here. We also have a stand towards the cafeteria area. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us. Just like the other uh, speaker, I'll just leave my number here if that helps. My number is 84200 Thank you so much once again.